I am Uncle Sam FM, and I am doing another video in my Playing MLS and Football Manager 2020 series. And this will be a really short one. Just wanted to look at trades. Now, trades may sound kind of confusing if you're not familiar with trades in American sports. However, simply put, all it is is domestic transfers. This is transfers between clubs within MLS. And so I thought what I'd do first of all, um, I do... I have traded away in this Houston Dynamo save here. I've traded away Mimo Rodriguez, who is my second team uh, midfielder. He plays kind of in the number six position. I can also slide him out wide if I need to. So I need to find a replacement. So I'm going to look up. There's a player called Edwin Cirillo. It's Edwin. Yeah, Edwin Cirillo from FC Dallas. And not a great player. He's somewhat promising. I, don't, I haven't really scouted him yet. I'm just really kind of doing this for the purpose of this video. But let's say that I want to try and acquire Edwin Cirillo to replace Mimo Rodriguez, who I lost. So there's a couple ways to do it. You can just go to transfer and go down to trade. Or if you're looking at the FC Dallas squad, you can find him in the squad and then right-click on him and... As you can see, my hope is to be able to get him since he's not even in the first or second team. But if you go to transfer, make an offer, and then you can choose from your assets what to offer FC Dallas. Now, I'm going to be totally honest with you. Offering trades to AI teams is difficult. It, it's really hard to get them to agree to something reasonable. So I acquired two draft picks for... Um, Mimo Rodriguez. So I'm gonna give, I'm gonna offer FC Dallas one of my first round picks, and I'm also gonna offer them a center back, Victor Cabrera, who I have six center backs, and while he's not the worst one, he's also not one of my first team center backs. So I can stand to lose him. I've got some depth there, and I'm trying to build depth in the center midfield. So I might add Victor Cabrera. And then maybe throw in some general allocation money. Now, this is where it gets kind of choppy because <laughs> FC Dallas is probably going to want a lot. So just for the purpose of this video, I'm going to offer everything I have to see if they'll accept it. And pr probably, you know what, let's try 200000 So we'll suggest that. And they've rejected it. <laughs> you can see there. Now, if they had accepted it, then I would be getting Edwin Cirillo and I would be losing these three assets. I'd be losing $200,000 of general allocation money, I'd be losing Victor Cabrera, and I'd be losing one of my first round super draft picks. So obviously this is going to be subjective. And as I said, it's really challenging in FM to get the AI to agree to a trade that you offer. However, in just a moment, I'm gonna show you how you can acquire some decent players when the AI comes to you offering trades. Here I have a trade offer coming in from San Jose and the Earthquakes would like to try to acquire Mimo Rodriguez. So here's what they've offered me. They're offering me two first round draft picks in exchange for Mimo Rodriguez and $350,000 of general allocation money. So the first thing I would do if I am considering this trade during, a, during an actual FM save is I would go to my finances and I would look at what I have. I would go to my league specific screen and I would look at how much general allocation money I have and then consider how much that would leave me with. Now obviously 350000 is going to be most of my general allocation budget. That would leave me with only $75,000 left in my general allocation budget. So that's a pretty hefty sum. Looking at Mimo Rodriguez, so Mimo is a young-ish player, so I have to consider that. One thing also to consider is that he he used to be a homegrown player. I guess he, that status has been taken away. He was a Dynamo Academy player, but after a certain amount of time, I suppose they lose that status. But I'm looking uh, at his overall ability, and frankly, it's not overly impressive. He is 23 years old, so he may not have quite hit his full potential. As you can tell from his, the scouts' opinions, they do believe that he can improve a full star 
to three and a half stars. But quite frankly, that is not the level that I would like for most of my players to be. So when I get a trade offer for somebody who is likely never going to actually break into my starting 11, I take it very seriously. And in this case, what I would be receiving in return are two first round draft picks. These could potentially be two pretty good players. The question is, am I going to get a player as good as Mimo Rodriguez? And, and I'm going, am I going to get a player that's worth $350,000 of general allocation money? Now, I'm not going to respond to this trade because I would take some, a little more time to think about it. As is, I probably would reject this trade simply because $350,000 is a lot. I might lower that amount just to see if San Jose would agree to it. I might bring it down, say, to $200,000. Now, likely, they're not going to agree to that trade, and they're just simply going to reject it. But let's see what happens when we suggest those terms. Oh, and San Jose has decided to accept. So if I now have the opportunity to respond with this offer to see if San Jose would still accept that offer. Is this an acceptable deal? That's going to be entirely subjective. That's going to be, these are decisions that you'll have to make on your own. I do like the idea of getting two first round draft picks for Mimo Rodriguez. I don't feel like Mimo Rodriguez would ever rise to the level of a first round super draft pick. Obviously, I could be wrong, but again, that's part of the fun playing MLS in Football Manager. And so that's trades in MLS. I don't really have many tips and many ways to game the system. One thing that I have done is I've offered lots of player rights. And again, those are players that are not at your club, but you do own their rights in case they want to return to MLS. So I've used those in trades and gotten some pretty good players, gotten some pretty good assets. I've used... Um, some of my lower draft picks that I pretty much never use, third, fourth round, players where you, you know, in the draft you're not going to get very much quality. I've used those in trades and been able to, to get some assets. But beyond that, I really don't have many other tips. I would um, encourage you to look for tips, look for ways to kind of game the trade system to maximize um maximize its effectiveness in your game, and then post them in the comments. And if you have any other question, post them there. This is Uncle Sam FM, and I'll see you next time.